Hello, and from those of you who remember, a while ago I did something about a game collab contest, and the winner was Bastendorf Evergrass, which is actually also the character of the game, uh, and the name of the game. And uh, the concept was to be a platform action-adventure RPG-style game, and uh, I looked at the idea and added hack and slash into it because can't remember why I just sounded fun at the time. And, um, maybe a little puzzle in there too. Uh, spice up the gameplay. And, uh, it includes custom art by Bastendorf. Uh, level design and story design also by Baston, uh, uh, Bastendorf. And, um, coding by myself. And, uh, right now it is basically an alpha the graphics are getting there, there are still a couple graphical uh, glitches, code and graphics not adding up completely, but the main gameplay is there, the tutorial levels are done, including a tutorial boss level, so, and uh, the basic cutscene engine is in, and the basic skill, and all, the engine is pretty much done except for the in-game menu, and you won't need that until actual uh, gameplay, you don't need that for the tutorial. So, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you what's going on. Now, music is getting done, but it won't be included until the last final release. Um, I included Red X's through the background because uh, they're not done yet. Only tutorial and credits are. Pretty credits. Um, name, and then your just basic menu. Hit tutorial, bring you to a uh, cutscene. The cutscene is done by time and by key press. When you're done reading it, you can hit the key press. And uh, basically, the story behind it is it's Bastendor's uh, seventh birthday, which in his culture means he gets his first sword. And uh, also, Bastendorf cannot uh, breathe fire and he cannot fly. His wings are too small. But uh, he's going to eventually learn to glide a little bit and he can jump. And as you can see with the tutorial, I uh, move back and forth, move with WSAD. And if you also read the tutorial, you have equip skills, so you can click the yellow part. And you have your little wooden sword, and you have your basic little spell that's given to the dragons. And then you can click the holder to go back. And once again, you have the little dummies. Now, this is implemented with try double jumping. Yeah, that was a real convenient hint. Um, this, uh, I believe, I already included, but with non original graphics. This is the updated graphics, all hand drawn, except for the clouds that is yet to be done, but that will be there. This is one of the minor bug fixes. The menu is seeable. Um, there's actually a function called view underscore visible that you can use. Uh, that I'm going to be using for menus from now on, but unfortunately that's not how I implemented the menu in this game, so instead I'm going to have to make the individual objects and backgrounds visible or not. Um, I'm not sure if I went over the fact that this has an idle animation. For instance, uh, it has blinking. Um, and let's see, we have the jumping animation. Okay, and kill this guy. Get some more gems, and if you look in the top hand, left hand corner, you have a health bar and you have a gem counter. And the gems are used to buy things later when you collect. There will be gems uh, that will also refresh because skills will cost. Uh, a wooden sword is a melee weapon, so it does not cost mana. Uh, neither will a, the basic spell, and you can see that the basic spell doesn't harm this kind of dummy, and neither does the sword. But you can equip skills, which are slightly different. You have to buy skills, and you can see that there's a 10 and a jewel. So you click on it to buy it and then drag over your stab skill and now you'll notice you have zero gems but now you have this red sword and that's not an actual weapon weapon skill there's a difference and this can actually kill the guy uh... bush that is not a health bar that is a graphical error that's uh... just a tile thing that'll be fixed up real quick not hard just haven't gotten around to it yet um, same thing with the water, uh, just how it lined up didn't work too well, but it's okay. I can swim too. That animation's done. Pretty much all the, the characters, 
Uh, if you notice, it's all uh, really nicely done, hand drawn. Another graphical error. I'm uh, sorry, I'm mentioning this right now, but uh, is the tail counts as part of the character. I'm going to be taking that out because hanging off a cliff by your tail is just weird. Um, and by hack and slash, I mean that you can do all your all your skills are done separately. For instance, this one you can do, and you can mash both of these at the same time. You can mash all three at the same time and do super damage, and that type of thing. So chaining attacks is what helps you survive. The basic chain is that, because it does three damage and can kill a mouse in one shot. Alright. Now move into the castle. It didn't look like a castle before. The porcupines are still OP. I'm not going to change that because that's just something you need to learn in the game. Uh, so I don't. I'll, you still need to kill them. They're not so bad that you can't kill them. Uh, if you do it right, you can do it in like three attacks. Um, but that requires some practice. And not even I have it down. Uh, let's see. Seen gates as before. Da da da. So um, jumping up. I'm not sure when this is going to be released. Honestly, it's been taking a while to get this version out. Uh, just some problems on both uh, Bassendorf's and mine things. Both of them going through some random stuff where we have been extremely busy. Uh, so haven't been able to really work on it too much. That's why it's been slow. But uh, it's getting a little bit less busy for me lately. Shit, porcupine, shit, porcupine, shit, porcupine. Um, so more development's going to be done on that. I remember that I had it so that you get 25 gems here. I think I was going to include another skill, but I forget what it was. You don't really need it in the tutorial levels, but I'll probably be adding, there will definitely be more skills so you can customize your set. Maybe you're really good with Maybe uh, you're really good up close, maybe not. Maybe there'll be skills that you only need for certain puzzles, like maybe there'll be a torch skill where you light up a dark cave or something to see. I don't know. That'll all be design and level design stuff. Um, going down the stairs. And lastly, we have a symbol that represents a boss battle. You cannot return from a boss battle. Luckily, this is not major boss battle. Fwing! It's a balloon. A very threatening balloon. But logic says that you can just jump up and stab the balloon with your sword and pop it. Luckily, this is a video game and logic doesn't work here. So instead, because it's a video game, we can figure out that you can push a rock off of a cliff have it jump on a trampoline and hit the balloon to cause damage. Uh, there's no animation for the rock yet. I actually had to do the rock graphic myself. Uh, we'll get a more professionally done one later. And one that blows up. Ooh, and now the balloon runs away because it's afraid of my rocks. Be afraid of my rocks. That one too. Ta-da! And then we slowly go into dark. Oh, another minor graphical error. But this goes over it. Um, this starts the actual storyline of it. Uh, gets the whole game moving a little bit. Um, and it is a cool storyline. Um, it has to do with Dark Bass. Uh, Dark Bassendorf. And Dark Bassendorf is a girl. And uh, is all of your hate rage and pain because you were so mad at yourself just got so big needs to escape it wants to be the only version of you so it entraps you in your own mind or its mind it's one and the same so you have to spend your time escaping your own mind and um, in the game you uh, then take off your uh, jacket because you, while your little wings can't fly, they can help you hover, and then it brings you back to the main menu. Uh, once again, that's going to be... I actually know how to fix that, believe it or not. That's amazing. And it brings you back to the beginning, and uh, then you can start your game. Uh, I think that I'm going to keep these 
crossed out or darkened out until you play the tutorial. I'll make you play the t in the game. It makes sense to make you play the tutorial before you do a new game. So I think I'm just gonna be mean like that. Um, but there's a game as of now. Uh, tons of gameplay gonna be added. Stuff from bosses, levels, areas, etc. All taking place right in your mind. Uh, if you have any suggestions, that'd be great. Comments. Um, and once again, shout out to Bassendor. If you can go to his channel, subscribe, comment, uh, etc. Uh, check out any of his videos. Um, and in the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, as for Game Maker tutorials, I think I have one request that I was actually going to be doing uh, really soon. Otherwise, keep them coming. And um, obviously, uh, don't feel that I won't just do it just because. Odds are I will end up doing it because other people have similar requests and problems. It's normally not just one person. Kind of like when teachers always tell you, ask the question, someone else is in the room that has the same question but won't ask it. Same deal here. Just go ahead and send in your request. And once again, thanks for watching.